Hello everyone, this is Thumb to Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Mortal Legends Retro Sandman figure here. So let's go over to packaging. So first we get the retro card with the Spider-Man uh, 90s logo here on top. Marvel Comics logo here in the corner. Here we here, we got a billboard picture of Sandman here. Marvel Sandman. Then we got Sandman in the package. Nothing on the top, tides, or bottom. Here is the back with the same Spider-Man logo here. And then Marvel Sandman. Here's that same billboard picture. Here it shows how you can switch out the hands and the heads. And then here's a description of the figure. If you guys want to pause and read that. And then here's the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Sam and the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So here we'll start with the arm pieces that will go on over his forearms when you take out his regular arms. Uh, it's to make it look like he has a sand effect. Um, going through it like it's supposed to merge into a different... Thing like these so yeah you get that nice looking sand texturing here you get some like dark tan and some light tan in there to give it that sand look and you get the holes there for the arms to go through so this one's a little bit of a bigger one whereas this one's a smaller one and then it kind of just it's, yeah it's for I think the fist I think this one's for the fist I'm correct but yeah and then here we got the other head sculpt here which is his head turning into sand and this is the head sculpt where you would kind of have Spiderman's fist going through it and kind of have him pose up right there so that's pretty cool and it's basically him not smiling or grinning like he does in that one I'll show you here in a bit but you get the hair going there a little bit of a curly looking hair Get some sand, you get that circle there for the arms to go through, you get the blue eyes, the eyebrows look good. So yeah, looks pretty good. And then you get a fisted hand here turned into sand, which we've seen before, but except it's smaller size now. And then you get that nice painting job for the sand, and you get the like dripping sand here, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, and then it does art uh does not articulate actually no articulation for it and then you get the spike ball here which is nice you get that same sand paint job there still no articulation so if you're thinking that's gonna articulate don't try it please otherwise you'll break the peg here but yeah that's all the accessories so let's bring sammy up close so here's his head sculpt here with the grin face um so yeah, you get that nice brown hair where it has like a little bit of curls going on there. Blue eyes. He looks pissed. You get the uh, dark green and a little bit of a lighter green striped shirt. His iconic look. Rolled up sleeves with the fisted hands. You get the brown pants here. And then you get the dark brown shoes here, which looks nice. You get the treads there. Here's the back. You get some butt pockets there pinless uh, elbow joints still get pinned uh, knee joints though and then yeah let's go over the articulation for him so his head is a uh, disc ball joint in the head so you can look down that far you can look up that far you can go left and right a uh, little head pivoting there shoulders move out that far 360 rotation around the shoulder bicep swivel double jointed elbows if i could get that other piece there there we go goes that far Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch, goes down that far, not a whole lot. Backwards that far, not, also not a whole lot. Waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs kick out that far, forward a decent amount, 90 degrees. Backwards none, thigh cut, double jointed knees, kicks back pretty far. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here is Sammy with his extra accessories on. I'll show you how to get him to uh, have Spider-Man's fist go through. So for Spider-Man's fist, you just pop off the arm and then kind of just have his arm fit through there. Where did I put the fist? There it is. Just 
just kind of try to pop it in there. Boom. And that's how it would look there. And it stays in there pretty dang good. So yeah, that's a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, if you have a Spider-Man figure, you can have his fists go through Salmon's head. And yeah, I think I think this figure is pretty cool. I recommend you get him. I just wish he was a bigger size to go uh, scale up as his like other figure. The build-up figure that we got gotten with like the... Uh, I forgot all the figures that were in there. I think it was the all new, all different Spider Man 2099, Black Suit Spider Man, uh, Green Goblin. I think it was Green Goblin and a few others. But yeah, this is a really cool guy. I recommend you get him. He's pretty cool. Um, the only problems I really have with it is the app crunch. Uh, the articulation for the, at least this one threw me off but I, I don't mind it really because i wouldn't be doing that too much anyways but um yeah i think the paint job and everything for this figure is awesome so yeah that's all i really got for this figure if you guys want to check out my tiktok twitch instagram and twitter go ahead and check that out and the link tree in the description but besides that thanks for watching